Hannah in the kitchen. And I'm Sophia. <laughs> Today we're making our version of a chocolate chip zucchini muffin. perfect treat for kids like they literally gobble up gobble it up <laughs> but um we are ending summer months and we're starting school very sadly but it's something that you can give to kids and they love it and it's just a good treat and if you're trying to give some give them some veggies this is perfect <laughs> because you don't, you don't even taste those zucchini so let's go over the ingredients yeah okay you're going to need some salt eggs, all-purpose flour, baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, zucchini that I shredded, uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, cashew nuts, which is optional, granulated sugar, brown sugar, vegetable oil, and some vanilla extract. Now, I want to talk about some ingredients. Nutmeg, make sure you um, grate it with like by yourself. Don't buy pre-made ground nutmeg because it's just not the same. And cashew nuts, they're optional. You can use Walnuts, pecans, any nut works. Even so, almonds. Or that. <laughs> and zucchini I shredded. So let's get started. So in this bowl I have some vegetable oil. Okay, vegetable oil. You can even use unsweetened applesauce. I mean, it works. The reason I'm not using butter is because I feel like vegetable oil just works better with this. I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs and my sugar both of my sugars, and a good, good splash of vanilla. And then I'm just gonna whisk it together until it is nicely incorporated. Good splash of vanilla, it gives lots of flavor. And then after that, we can move on to the next step. Okay, are you done? Yeah. That looks incorporated. You're gonna go ahead and add your shredded zucchini. And I know what you're thinking. The zucchini, chocolate chip kit, you don't even taste the zucchini. It's, you don't even, it's like magical. You only taste the chocolate chips and the vanilla muffin. It's just delicious. So she's gonna go ahead and mix that. Oh, I guess we're already there. Yeah, I'm gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You can just keep mixing. And here I have a muffin cupcake tin, which I lined with, or grease with some butter. You can even go fancier and just put some cupcake liners. That works too. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my dry, ooh, dry ingredients. And that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Okay, mm. Okay. now <laughs> I'm gonna take my chocolate chips and my nuts. I'm just gonna add a bit of my flour where I need to add a pinch of salt. Can't forget that because, you know, we need balance always, always, always. Give that a nice mix. I'm gonna add some of my flour, about half of this mixture, or like one fourth of this mixture, into my chocolate chips and nuts. Whenever you're using chocolate chips or something like chocolate chips inside a loose batter like cake batter, muffin batter, or anything like that. Coat it with some flour so that all the chocolate chips don't sink to the bottom of the cake. So they just like scatter everywhere, which is what you want. So I'm gonna add a bit in here and give it a nice mix. Can you go ahead and add that in here? And you can start mixing. Add our chocolate, don't over mix that's gonna make your cake not as light and fluffy. And so you can see how I still have some flour in here. Once you add your chocolate chips and your nuts, you can mix it, mix it fully. So you can go ahead and do that. Remember, fold it in, so mix, mix, mix cut. cut. Go ahead. <laughs> and this is gonna go over, we're gonna go fill it up. Yes, and these. You can make about nine muffins, so we're gonna have to make six muffins and then make three more. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go get this is gonna be my cookie scoop. scoop. And then we're gonna go for my cookie scoop here. I see I'm in. I'm gonna just this for this particular one, I feel like two scoops is perfect, but you can even make this inside like a nine by five bread pan. That works too. Oops. <laughs> I can lick it. Okay. <laughs> just gonna go do every single one. This can go in the oven for 20 to 22 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean or even a dry spaghetti works. <laughs> 
came out of the oven about 20 minutes ago and I let it cool for about 10 minutes and we are ready to dig in. It smells like cinnamon and like chocolatey goodness. I just can't, I have to go this one right there and just, and just, ah, look at the chocolate. Get yours. Ah, oh, okay. Too. You, know, you have to make this. I bet I have chocolate all over my face, but right now, that doesn't matter. <laughs> and who the next time? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get the recipe, well, you do need it, go to my website, which is in the description box. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!